Hi Danny, this is your instruction video and I want to make sure that you can add posts and pages. So once you've logged in to the back end of WordPress and I will send you access to that directly through WordPress um, and I'll send you the URL that you need to sign in. You're going to come to this screen which is your dashboard and you can go to pages, so all pages. Oh, there it goes. Okay, and then if you need to edit any of these pages, if you hover over it, you can click edit. All right, and then what you can do is scroll down on this page, and if you hover over any of these sections that you wanna change, you can just click on the pencil and that allows you to edit the text block. So if you need to change any of that, you can save changes. And then once you're done making any changes here, then you wanna go ahead and click update. I'm not gonna click that because we didn't make any changes, but um, let's see what else. If you wanna add a new page, you can click this, add new. All right, so to add the new page, this is where the title of the page goes. Oops, finish this. And over here, you can add any text. Down here is the SEO that I was talking about. So you can edit this, you can edit the snippet. So edit the SEO title. The slug is like the URL, the short code for that. So it's just based on the title of the page and then the meta description. So what's going to happen is once you start typing in the description, you want to use some of the keywords and then you want to use right here where it says focus keyword is where you enter your keyword for the page. And then I'm going to scroll up here and then you want to click publish. So anytime you want to add a new new page, click publish. All right. So I'm going to go to your website. And I'm going to pick treatment and men's health, for example. And then I'm going to click edit page here at the top. All right. So if you need to change any of the text, you can change it here. And so here is where we change the SEO title, you can see it here. The SEO title here, the slug, and the meta description. And the green for SEO means it's the highest level we could get. And then here's the focus keyword, men's health. So just to show you an example. And you can click update. Now, the page composer, visual composer, has a lot of different elements. And so depending on how the page is set up, so I'll go ahead and view this page again. So you can see on this page, there's text on the left, and then an image, and then more text underneath that goes all the way across. All right, so the way that the 
The way that we do that on this page is we have these two columns and a single image on one side, the text on the other, and then we have the text going all the way across underneath. So I'll just show you really quickly, if you want to add another section, for example, you can add it here with a plus. You can add a whole row if you want. And if I need to have two columns, this is where I do it. So I hover over this area here and I click two columns. And then I can click on this plus and I can add text. Um, or I can just type in, this is what I want, I want text, a text block. And then if I want an image on this side, I can just type in single image. And then add the image here. And you can choose an image that's new from your computer or from the media library. So these are already images that are used on the site in general. And you want to go ahead and save changes and then also update it if you're changing that page. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this page because I don't want to change the format. But I'm also going to show you how to add posts. So if I visit the site, and I'll go to your blog, so this is the latest post that Julia added. All right, so she's got the article here. And so we can take a look at it by clicking Edit Post. Now a post in WordPress is just a blog article. So it's just another name for a blog article. And there's the article, you can see it there. You can see there's her featured image. And if I edit the snippet, you can edit the SEO title. It looks like she's already just kept the title. And you can change any of this, essentially. And then here's her focus keyword. So the green means it's the highest level. And it will also tell you here down below, if there's anything that you can do to increase your on-page SEO. Uh, the other thing that you can add for posts is over here on the right-hand side are categories. So these are all the categories so far. And then here are tags. So in general, you want to have one category and maybe a couple tags or a few tags. If you want to add a post, there's several ways to add a post. You can click this add new button. You can click over here on the side menu, add new, or you can click up here, new post. So, and here's where you'd add the title again, and the text. And then down here is the SEO information. So anytime you add something new, you're going to want to change this focus keyword.
On this side are the categories. You can check from the most used categories. And then you can also choose from the most used tags. So here are all the tags. If you want to set an image, you can put it here. And then anytime you're done with those, then you want to click Publish. You can also save drafts if you want to publish it later. You can edit this and publish it like tomorrow if you want, or just another date. So I would just start with that. I would say you probably want to add posts rather than pages right now. That's the main thing you want to focus on. Otherwise, I think you're all set. And you do want to have another agency go ahead and maintain the site so that they're, that you're website is continuously updated with WordPress and your plugins. All right, thanks a lot.